done, we've had something quite incredible happen. Absolutely. A head of state, the first time a head of state has been indicted by an international uh, court uh, for crimes against humanity and war crimes. Um, is that going to stick? Is, well, is it, well, the problem is um, the International Criminal Court clearly has uh, been uh, coming up with these accusations against a lot of the African leaders lately. And we've had recently Charles Taylor, who's found himself in the dock, trial currently ongoing. And of course, Bashir himself, who this indictment has been uh, put on his lap, he's quite nervous, clearly, the fashion in which he's reacted, mm -hmm. having endless rallies within his country, trying to show that he's perfectly fine, he's a tough man. But um, the people of Darfur did suffer. Large numbers of people died. Thousands were displaced. And, and someone's got to take responsibility for that. Um, um, I think the, the, the onus on the International Criminal Court has to be balancing between justice and peace and, uh, and, and security, because um, coming up with an accusation with, against a sitting president on this junction, mm -hmm. and of course the fashion in which he's actually been able to expel large numbers of aid workers. Well, this is what I wanted you, you to know. bring in Pastor Mike. Yeah. You know, the, the first thing he has done is he has kicked out ten leading aid agencies, yeah. uh, Save the Children, mm -hmm. um, Oxfam and so forth. Mm -hmm people are going to die. Absolutely, and, and the situation has been exasperated and made far worse by, uh, by this uh, indictment upon him. Uh, the so wisdom... is the indictment irresponsible in that case? I believe so. I, so I, what should they have done? I, uh, we've, to do it on a sitting president with the power that he had and the influence that he's got in that nation was, was certain to lead to more problem. And I believe we've seen more problem as a result of that, that declaration. So what do we do? Do we let sitting presidents sit out their presidencies uh, and then get them afterwards? So what's, what should be the, uh, the, the modus operandi? Well, I, th I think the, the issue is, is that um, presidents, individuals, whoever they are, if they've committed crimes against humanity or crimes of that nature, they should be brought to book. However, we've got to get the balance right. And sitting prime ministers or presidents are not ones who I would aspire or thought should be arrested at this junction because clearly they've got the muscle, the manpower to create even further problems on the ground. And, and, and I think the ICC has not actually thought about that process because now they're saying, well, we could arrest him tomorrow, we could arrest him in two months' time, it could be two years, it could be ten years, it could be twenty odd years. Mm. You know, uh, all it means is that travelling is going to become a problem for him. Mm -hmm. He will not have a problem travelling across Africa, that's for sure, because all the rest of the African leaders would dare not touch him or argue with him, because who knows, they may be next. So from that perspective, I think he's safe. However, if he da dares to leave the continent of Africa, he may experience some problems, and that's where, the, where he may be, may be captured, if at all. But does this not lead us to another Mugabe situation? What would cause Bashir to actually ever give up the presidency if he knew that uh, waiting for him as he packs his bags from the president's uh, palace are police to take him over to The Hague. Have we not shot ourselves in the foot with this strategy? We might have well done so, and we might have sent a da dangerous precedent. Because again, the ICC has to be seen to be deemed to be fair. Um, the, the the accusation that's been placed on them is that um, they seem to be imposing it on weaker nations and um, developed nations. Who, for example, some people have been crying that maybe Bush and, and Blair um, um, may should have faced tr um, the court for for accusations of what may have happened in Iraq or Afghanistan. You know, there are some people who are mentioning things like that. Uh, so we don't have a fair system as to how it could actually be balanced out and more uh, affluent leaders like the ones I've just mentioned could be brought or even questioned if at all.